Right folks, welcome back to the Dawn of World Sports. I am the Dawn Father and I'm now going to be reacting to an old school enforcer of the NHL. Um, some people refer to them as goons, but I find that as offensive. It almost sounds like you're downgrading them to being stupid or something. Uh, they're not stupid. They are definitely not stupid. And I'll tell you something. Um, try and call one of these guys stupid to their face and see how it pans out for you, okay? Anyway, the, the enforcer that I'm going to be reacting to is old school, as I've said, from the Philadelphia Flyers, a Broad Street bully himself, Dave the Hammer Schultz. I've seen him talking uh, on a documentary I've watched and that I've reviewed. I really can't watch, wait to watch this little snippet of him. It's only about a three minute long video, but he's a guy that I've got admiration for. He's somebody that's heavily requested to react to. The reason why it's a short video that I'm reacting to is because I'm really struggling to be able to download them. I don't know if you, uh, the device that I'm using to download, or the app, sorry, that I'm using to download, is not why it's not allowing me to do it. However, I'm sure this three minute video will still be enjoyable to watch and react to and I hope that you'll check out the original video as well I'm going to put the link to it in the description section below so anyway that's the intro intro introduction done to the video no more talking then let's go Two minutes for hooking, ten minutes for someone two unbelievable. Will you keep me seventeen minute penalty? Baby, I'm wrong, but it's lonely. Look at that, he's absolutely smashed him on the ground. I broke the rules, but rules are broken by fools. Baby, how long? Look at that temper, he's kicking the, the gloves away and the helmet away. Love is like a nice hockey game. Sometimes it can be rough. Girl, you got me so all aflame. I love the short arm jabs that he's given. Most of them are landing and connecting with the target. Look at that, he's bulldozing his way through the rip. You can tell that he's a warrior, this man. He's going for the hair. Look at the aggression in the eyes. I fucking love it. Oh, going for the hair. I love that. Psychopath. He's absolutely freaking pounding him! Dave the hammer! Shows. That is a hammer in that right hand! Fuck me in the ref trying to get in the way of that! I don't know who he's fighting but oh he's down! Lovely! Take take down there! Zero fucks given. Just a smile as he skates toward the penalty box. Will you keep me in the penalty box? <laughs> how long? How long will you keep me in the penalty box? <laughs> will you keep acting like this? You'll never be able to keep that fucking lip. Don't be like those referees. Stop giving me all those penalties. Look at him. He's a psycho. It's an all out bro, even the crowd's getting a touch. Wow, this video, let me tell you. Yes! Everybody's getting torn! Who's he? This wee guy's losing the plot. The ref's trying to hold him back with one arm. He's got shocks here. Just the ref should just skate backwards and go fight. That's where I got all my moves. Hey, that's a good one. They hated them that much, they hung effigies of them off the stand. The Broad Street Phillies, everywhere they went, they were feared. Absolute team of nut jobs. Game over. Let me tell you, I'm so glad I reacted to that video. And I'm because because it's got <laughs> it's got its own personal song. Uh, baby how long will I spend in the penalty box? Brilliant. 
with him reacting like that every game, you'd imagine back then he spent a lot, and I mean a lot of time in the penalty box, but it was brilliant. Could you imagine him being uh, one of the crowd at that day, in those days, sorry, when everybody was just fucking nutters. They loved the scrap. The enforcer was well and truly part of the game. And he just goes, you know, we wink, on you go, get into him. And away he went and he just battered people. And I mean battered them. The hammer of a right hand. Very accurate with his punching. Not a lot of them were missing. But I like that touch of insanity about him as well. When he's got him down, he's still going. So like he can't. When the red mist takes over, he can't stop it. It's just... Kill! I love that. The refs have got their work cut out when he's on the ice. Let me tell you. And I would not want to be one of the zebras in the way of two old school enforcers going at it. I know about the Broad Street Bullies and I've not covered a documentary yet to do the review. So I will do that when I get a chance. I've got loads of other stuff to get through before I can do that. I'm really looking forward to it though. I've read loads of little things but not watched the documentary about them. Absolute nutcases. Everywhere they went they just wrecked the show. They were the team that was just brought in to wreak havoc and change up the NHL back then. They really were. Um, and he was a major figure in that. Really enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed it if you haven't seen it before. And if you don't know anything about any of the old school enforcers, I am going to be covering more of them. <laughs> I've already done a couple, but I'll probably find myself doing a few more of the old Flyers boys because... <laughs> There was just, that wasn't just a team of one or two enforcers. They had seven or eight, I believe, in that one squad that were just nutters. You just couldn't stop them. They rocked up into people's towns and just smashed the living shit out of everyone. That's what they were all about. And I believe, I believe that style, that the, the fear into people, ended up seeing them lifting a Stanley Cup. So back then, you could probably get away with it. I can't imagine you getting away with it anymore. The way the game's changing, the way they're trying to phase out the old school enforcer. Well, it has kind of been phased out the old school enforcer. You've still got them fighting, but you've not got these guys coming on, evening up the score, or taking out best players, or if somebody's trying to hit your best player, going, you're coming on to protect them. You don't really get as much of that anymore. What you're getting nowadays is good players, good hockey players, not to say they were bad players back in the day, you're getting a lot better hockey players now that are willing to uh, fight as well, defend themselves, but they're not being, um, they're not being targeted I suppose to the point where they would have done back in that era, uh, and there's probably less uh, requirement to have uh, an enforcer, which is sad really. Because I love it. But a lot of people prefer the modern game. They like watching the technical, more skillful side of the hockey. They enjoy the fast pace, the free flow in hockey. Some of the technicians in the modern game are just frightening. Absolutely frightening. And they're allowed to they're they're being allowed to play the game the way the game was designed to be played. So a lot more people enjoy that. But I for one, being Scottish, absolutely admire admire these old school enforcers that simply went out to smash people. Love it. Their hands must have been like rocks on the end of their wrists. Just rocks. <coughs> Wreck it, Ralph. Love it. Dave the Hammer Schultz. What a pleasure to watch. Love the song. Love the old clips. The old moustache. The smile as he's getting put into the penalty box. The missing tooth. The rage in the eyes. The unstoppable fire in him when he's got somebody down. Um, just fearless. Absolutely ferocious. And incredible ambassador for the flyer. Tell you something. When you see the number 8, I love the number 8, there's something about the number 8. They should have retired, I don't know, I doubt they have. They should have retired the number 8 for the old school enforcers, because that's what they were all about at the very beginnings, was rough and tough hockey. Um, and he was at the forefront of that. I call, if they haven't already, the Philadelphia Flyers, retire the number 8 for Dave the Hammer Schultz and your Hall of Fame. That is what's got to happen, and you know it makes sense. Thanks very much, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe. As I've said, the original video will be in the description section below. You can click into the link on that to see that. 
Also down there you'll see our other social media platforms. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and if you want and you can afford it, please become a patron. That would really help the channel grow. Um, and fulfill our dream of turning it into the channel into a podcast and also do, doing vlogging trips um, and doing the sports live in the stadiums as well, covering it, the live action. That is the dream. So if you could do that, that would be fantastic. Also for the patron, I'm doing shout outs. So if you become a patron, I'll do a video of your request. You'll have priority and also a shout out to your name as well as one of the, 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 the basic perks of becoming a patron. Thanks very much everyone. I am the Dawnfather. Peace and goodbye.